on main old uh name was mentioned by Troy Yab doing his testimony. And I had people been coming on my videos telling me that I should go look at your interview with uh I think it was Doggy Diamonds or something where you explained what had happened in that situation. Can you can you explain that again, bro? Tax Stone attorney was hit member Tax Stone's only defense throughout his whole trial was that Troy Ave shot the club up, shot the venue up, shot my brother, shot himself. That was his only defense. So he spent the whole trial trying to throw reasonable doubt by mentioning other people that were there, including Casanova, Uncle Murder, and, and including Mano. So it was the attorney who on cross-examination started asking Troy Av questions and brought up Mano's name. And then Troy Av said whatever he said in regards to Mano. He didn't just jump out on trial and say, yo, Mano this and Mano that. So it came from the attorney. Gotcha. Yeah, because people definitely was putting that on my comments. Like, no, you got it wrong on this part right here. You should go check out this, do some research. I was like, I'm dead. It's a lot of it's a lot of details to the case. I ain't really, you know, but they ain't really come out yet. Uh, but yeah, when you hear all the real, real facts of it, you people have better clarity. That's why I've been speaking on it more because it's been a lot of, you know, internet confusion about what the facts are. But that's that's just what it is. So when when I spoke to Av or whatever, Av is upset because he he said he asked me, you know, after he came out the green room, he saw a bang on the floor to help, yo, he's like, yo, help pick him up. And, and Mano was like, nah, leave, leave that nigga right there. So I've been holding on to that for, se for, you know, for several years. But was Mano wrong for opinion. saying that? Because what's up? Go ahead, bro. You know what I was saying? Is Mano wrong for that? Because when somebody shot, you know you're supposed to move him. Yeah, but caught. As, according to uh, according to me, you know, I spoke to him after after almost seven years, a couple of days ago, about his um, his side. He told me some stuff that I I speak about later, but um, it's interesting. But he said that that was what he was pretty much saying, but he never said it. Av, when I spoke to Av about it, Av said that he never said. Don't pick him up because we don't know what he shot at. He just said, Av said, he just said, you know, don't pick that nigga up. So Av, in his years, has been having that in his mind. that He was like, fuck your man type shit. So that's why he on the type of time he on. Yeah. I, I, I mean, he probably didn't. like, But any probably that said the streets know that, though. You don't supposed to pick him up. Let him sit there, you know what I'm saying? Because you move around, the bullet's going to travel. Yeah, I, I, you know I, what I, mean? I, so, I hear that, bro. But in this scenario, I'm not jacking that, bro. You know what I'm saying? We in the, yeah. we talking about, we talking about a venue. We talking about, you know, the fact that you can't wait for no police at times. Sometimes you got to put your homie in that car and get to the hospital, bro. You ain't yeah. waiting for no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hear that, you know what I'm saying? We understand that, but you better, you, you got a better chance of, you doing that versus leaving somebody there to die. My brother died right there on that floor. You know what I'm saying? He was okay. laying there for too long. So he never made it to the hospital. So I now even weigh in my mind, you know, how if somebody would have just got him from off that floor and took him out and drove him to the hospital, would he have survived? Mm. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask. Like, damn, he could have survived if he probably would have made it to the hospital. Like you know what I mean, on time instead of bleeding out. According to the trial, he didn't go. He didn't go down. He didn't go down with the first shot. He he, he left sometime. He left the room sometime after the third or fourth shot. You see him running out the room, holding his chest, um, and then eventually falling down by the bar. And he was on the floor for um uh, uh for the rest of the melee while everybody's running back and forth. He was on the floor. The ad finally came out the room. He was on the floor, so he was on the floor for a good, a good several minutes without no type, of, no type of help, no type of aid whatsoever. 